Most fans of baseball are familiar with the three feet rule associated with the base path. However, what they may not understand is what defines a base path. This situation came up recently during a game where this base runner was far from the foul line, and some thought that he should be out for being off the base path. As seen in Rule 5.09b1, a runner's base path is established when the tag attempt occurs and is a straight line from the runner to the base path to the base he is attempting to reach safely. What this means is is that there is no base path until the tag attempt is made. This is why runners on third can take a sizable lead off into foul territory and not be considered out, or they can also round third and not be considered out. Remember, there is no base path until the tag attempt is made. From the tag attempt, the base path is now a straight line to the base being sought. And in poorly executed rundowns, which should always be out with one throw, this could be multiple paths. In this specific play, there was no tag attempt made. Let's roll the clip. Come on, come on, come on. You got it, you got it. Oh, 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 get out, get out. There you go. As you can see from that clip, no tag attempt was made, therefore, the base path is whatever the runner wants to do because there is no base path, and so he cannot be out for being three feet away from a base path because there was no tag attempt made. There does happen to be another situation where there is a base path, however, that is at first base and that's a topic for another day.